It's two days before the final judging panel to decide the next city of culture and bid leader Abby's last chance to perfect Stoke's pitch. OK, ready to go. We're going to start with the big one. Why Stoke? Um, we've experienced um, in, uh, fantastic revolution as a place, industrial, social, but we've also experienced a reversal of that and we're very keen not to go back there. It's got to be now for us to make the change that we really need to the people of the city um, and to our perception. Great. I like your bit about how you know, can work in class city sort of really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep rehearsing, keep yeah. learning. Till yeah. to, to the very last. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Leading business expert says Stoke-on-Trent would be totally transformed if it became City of Culture in 2021. It's a big day in Stoke. The City of Culture judges are in town to see for themselves what the city has to offer. Right, so what am I doing? Duck in the hand. We could do. You could be Demi and I'll be Patrick. Some familiar faces have been invited to the reception. Yeah, everyone's really got their best clothes on. We need to press home to them exactly what Stoke-on-Trent has to offer. I mean, they say, oh, don't take anything seriously. It's like an observation. You know, it's like when people in a job interview go, don't be nervous, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Okay, a selection. Quite a selection. That we want to hear from cities themselves what they think the culture is. And here, we talk about making things that are coming together. What do you think it means for I mean, the biggest thing that happens is a change in perception. Everybody starts to think of the city as something different than a media stereotype. Now, just so Stoke-on-Trent gets it. You give it your best shot and then you sit back and keep your fingers crossed. There's just bugger all else you can do. The bid to be UK City of Culture was Stoke-on-Trent's big push to transform their city. They wanted to change perceptions of Stoke from the inside and the outside. The bid had some sceptics, of course, but over the last year, something has changed in the way many people in Stoke see their city. As for perceptions from the outside, they're about to find out if their bid has been successful. Tonight is the big night the winner will be announced live on Primetime TV. The bid leader, Abby, is heading to Hull, the current city of culture, where the show will be filmed. 726 they're gonna announce the winner. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit nervous about it all really. It's been a really long journey here. So we need Coventry, then we need Paisley. Paisley's next. Cheers! nervous because I think because the last couple of days we've had such positive messages coming out of the city you're almost in a bubble and um, so I have no idea what can happen okay. so you want me to shout? Yeah. let's say hello to Carrie are we ready come on let's do this hey we are on tender hooks aren't we <laughs> and the winner is Coventry. Come on then. Okay. Go that way. We all believed it could have been so contrast name called out tonight. And when you have a bid with so much heart, it's hard not to feel hurt when it doesn't quite turn out. Let's think of what we have achieved. Stoke on Trent isn't the city it used to be. We have a new belief in our city. And there's no going back from here. Oh, obviously we are naturally disappointed, but um, you know, well done to Coventry and I'm pleased that it's coming to the West Midlands. Hello, hello. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know, it's it massively raised the profile of the city and what this has done for us as a city, nothing will ever be the same after this anyway. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Can we go yet? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah? Listen, come on. Keep going, keep going. Mighty city.
Absolutely great again. Tonight there's nowhere else I'd rather be. This is not it for Never Steve. Never mind, we'll do it on our own. Do you watch this space? Yeah. I've deleted everyone on Facebook from Garmitry. To be fair, like, every city is in the same boat. How we deal with this is different, I don't know. I don't know. People from Stoke just get stuff done. We've, we've come this far. The dream, the love affair. Oh, yeah, I'm going to cry into the fucking sofa. Yeah, thanks for giving your time to Stoke, man. We also recently had some bad news about Cayman. Cayman has been having some personal problems and has missed some of his training course. Next, new message. Uh, you've been phoning asking about the video in Cayman. Unfortunately, he's not here again today. He wasn't yesterday. Um, he won't be um, continuing with the course. So there's, I'm sorry, so we won't be able to help. Thanks. It's one of them. Obviously, it's this fucking this whole railway shit. It's not, it's not going to plan, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of crap on in it at the moment. It can kind of knock you off balance, man. Cayman has been struggling to escape from the legacy of a very difficult past. For now, it has caught up on him. It's one of them, isn't it? No one said it was going to be easy, like, but even though this railway thing's fucked up, I haven't seen that as a knockback and be like, actually, nah, fuck this, I'm going to sit on my ass and do fuck all. You know, bum bum. I straight got back out there and I'm still fucking scowling. Hopefully, I'll get something like in um, a warehouse work and that, because it's Christmas and that, so there'll be a lot of that going. Yeah, I know I can feel things, you know what I mean? They're on the up for me. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. Morning, darling. Morning. How are you? Freezing. Well, King's dead, long live the king. As you say, do you know what I mean? Lots of snow and no city of culture. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do? Hey, us plate turners are a bit turned off, aren't we, this morning, I suppose? I thought winning the City of Culture could be a catalyst to accelerate Stoke into a new future. So that's why I'm gutted. I'd be interested to see what happens. And I guess we've got to find another uh, catalyst, as it were, but maybe we're the catalyst. That's it. The people who made Stoke a world-beating city in the past used their creativity and hard work, their collaboration and pride. And they used the materials that were right there under their feet. This is what they have to do all over again. We changed the world from the city around things we created and, and little experiments. What we're doing is almost bringing it back to life again in a way to say to people, don't you remember? Thanks for coming down. We're making some bricks. Amazing. Yeah. It's not about the thing, but it's you know, let people know I'm there. You know, I don't see an empty flat piece of land, it's rubble, and it's an old building. I don't try not to dwell on that. I think well, what could go there it just shows we're still here, we're still a community. We can't be beaten. I'm a proud person, do you know what I mean? I don't like asking for help, you know what I mean? I like going out and doing shit for myself. We've got to look after ourselves, I'm afraid, now. We've all got to work together to make things better. Often Stoke can be described by its deficit. If we measure something by its assets, we've turned the world round, haven't we?